Hey friends, it's Dr. Erin. Welcome to my Emergency Health Fix YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about fasting. I'm going to teach you the secret of how fasting can fix your metabolism, chisel away your extra fat, and prevent and reverse disease. Let's go. Okay friends, let's talk about why to learn about fasting. This is the first reaction I get. Oh my God, fasting, really? Do we have to? Isn't that dangerous? I mean, I'm just here to lose a few pounds. This is your next immediate reaction. It's nope, not doing that, I'm out of here. All right friend, whoa, stop right there. Before you shut me off and run out of the room, fasting means a lot of different things. It doesn't mean I'm expecting you to starve yourself. Not at all. Let's start with this. Your fear of fasting is completely normal. It's a completely human response. Let's talk about how your body thinks about food. Our human bodies are so amazing. Your brain is constantly working to keep you alive in fact, the only true task of your brain is keeping you alive. Our brain makes memories for the sole purpose of keeping us alive. Remembering which of these two paths led to this cute little guy will help you survive his mama. Whoa, thank goodness for your memory. A huge portion of your brain is dedicated to locating energy in the form of food. Without energy, you cease to exist. Your brain has three energy jobs. Its first job is to keep you moving. If you don't have the energy delivered to you, you need to go get it. And this is why you and I can walk. Its second job is intermingled with your memory function. Your brain analyzes foods and learns which things give you the most energy and are safe to eat. Imagine how many humans had to die before we figured out which mushrooms and berries were safe to forage and eat. Your brain has complete control over making you seek energy. This is called your hunger. Your brain tells you when it's time to eat. From your brain's point of view, this decision is critical to keeping you alive. Therefore, it feels best taking this hunger decision out of your hands. Your brain also has the ability to send extra energy to areas in specific need of repair. For example, that ankle you sprained a few hours ago is already on your brain's radar list for repairs. Of course, if it's constantly processing new food, it barely has time to make repairs. Our brains have gotten really smart over the years. Long ago, our brains learned it was wise to actually fatten up whenever and wherever food was plentiful. This was because if memory served us right, months of harsh weather and food scarcity were always just around the corner. Our modern human brains retain this design of always working to keep us alive. And this fear of the famine that lies ahead is retained as well. Think about what this means in our modern world. Going out and foraging for food is just not as difficult or energy consuming as it used to be. We're much more likely to find success. You don't have to worry about harsh seasons anymore. No matter what the season, there's always plenty of food. Even super high energy tropical fruits can be found year round. Our brains love these. If you have enough money, you can simply go to a restaurant and order food. Even if you don't have a lot of money, there are still plenty of restaurant options for you. If you're feeling too lazy or too busy, you can just call and have food delivered. Wow, this is great news, right? Now all of us can be super alive from the point of view of our brains. But what happens when we super fuel constantly? You guessed it, too much energy leads to us just storing it. Unless you are one of the select few of us with an extremely high metabolism, 
the rest of us hate you, by the way. Or you work a job of constant laboring, like a landscaper or a roofer. These guys don't really find me too often searching for weight loss. Unless you're one of these people, constantly taking in too much energy just leads to obesity. But this is normal. Our bodies retain the ability to store energy when it is available and when we've eaten extra, and then use the energy when we haven't eaten. But if we keep filling up on breakfast, lunch, and dinner 24-7, 365, oh, and don't forget the snacks, what do our amazing bodies do with all that excess energy? Do we just flush it down the toilet? No. Energy is your brain's currency. Your brain doesn't throw that away. Nope. Your brain is amazing. It simply finds a place to store it. Our bodies are simply forced to adjust. Because your brain is in charge and it's constantly preparing for the days or possibly even months of famine that is surely just around the corner. Hmm, when's the last time you lived through a famine? No worries though, these guys take care of us. Our global food manufacturers make sure you never starve and they make sure to give you the clear message that you should eat and eat and eat. Even if it's just the tiniest amount, we're told that if we don't keep eating, we might slow down our metabolism, right? And if that happens, you'll definitely gain weight. I hope you hear the sarcasm and the disdain dripping from my voice here. Actually, the opposite is true. If you continue to eat and eat and eat, eventually, your metabolism actually will come to a screeching halt. When that occurs is both individual, depending on how poorly you eat, and genetic. But it's not unpredictable. In fact, doctors have a tool that can predict exactly when that breakdown in your metabolism is likely to occur. This is called your BMI. This is why your doctor measures your height and weight at the door. We are predicting what problems you are likely facing before we even greet you. Doctors know if you have a normal BMI, the chances are greater that you have a normal metabolism and therefore are pretty healthy. The higher your BMI, the more likely you are to have a broken metabolism and be suffering and sick. So what are the signs of a metabolism that is starting to break down? They can be kind of vague at first, and usually we just think of these as a normal part of life for us, or a normal part of getting old. Problems like fatigue, headaches, chronic pain, nausea, and dizziness, all of these are due to faulty energy metabolism. When you don't supply your body with the right energy, it's a lot like the lights in your building are just going dim all the time. So what's causing that problem exactly? You can think of your body like a trash can. Eventually, if you keep filling it with excess fuel, it will begin to overflow and begin storing things in places that are just not appropriate. In general, this is the cause of inflammation everywhere in your body. This causes your acne, cysts, chronic pain, fatty liver, that buildup in your blood vessels. Garbage is just accumulating everywhere. And not everyone with this energy and storage crisis associated with a broken metabolism is overweight. About 30% are normal weight, but often they are entirely filled with all the wrong fuel. What's that wrong fuel exactly? Our standard American diet fits the bill. The standard American diet is called the SAD diet by nutrition scientists. In studies of nutrition, it universally kills the lab animals that eat it. Here's some news for you, friend. You are an animal too. If you continue to fill up on the SAD diet for long enough, it will start to kill you too. First, by destroying your metabolism. A completely broken metabolism is known as metabolic syndrome. This is also called prediabetes or insulin resistance. As you can see, this leads to a whole slew of the diseases we suffer with and die from in the Western world. All of this is metabolic disease. 
that means all of it is reversible with better eating. Both what you eat and the pattern in which you eat it matters. Okay, obviously then, if we're all overeating, the solution seems simple, right? Just stop eating. <laughs> and this happens. A little thing we call hanger. Remember, your brain does everything in its power to keep you alive. Hanger means your brain is not happy with you. This plan to just stop eating is not recommended. Also, a funny thing happens when people with metabolic syndrome just stop eating. Nothing. Nothing happens, except they get very stressed out, which actually causes more of the nothing to happen. Here's the trick. If you want your metabolism to get moving and start burning fat, you have to provide the right nutrients for this to happen. Your metabolic machine needs energy, and it needs the right energy. This is non-negotiable stuff. Getting an adequate amount of protein and plenty of healthy fats is key. Look for my other videos about how to get these essential nutrients. But look closely here, friends. There's nothing from those inner aisles at the grocery store. Once you get the right foods, then should you be eating them 24-7, 365? No. It's important to start incorporating more fasting time into your day. This means more fasting, less eating, each and every day. When people hear me say more fasting and less eating, this is often the result. Eating very little is the wrong way to build a healthy body. Spending less of your time eating should not mean you're eating less food. Now, there are all different ways to start cutting back on the amount of hours in which you eat. These are just a few of the popular options. Each of these is valuable to have at your disposal. That's why I teach all of these. The enormous positive effects of fasting on your overall health are undisputed and completely unmatched. No drug can claim to help you lose weight, boost your immune system, erase diabetes, prevent cancer, improve your brain health, improve your heart health. Seriously, the benefits go on and on. Fasting gives your body the time to take the nutrients you provide and actually focus on the healing. So everything from damaged skin to damaged hair to damaged brain cells gets repaired. Plus, fasting is free and it saves you money. Sounds awesome, right? You may be wondering now how to get started. That's the great thing about fasting. You don't need to read a book just to learn how to eat less hours of your day. Maybe start with this basic schedule called 168. Simply choose eight hours of the day you would like to eat and only eat during those hours. And there you go. You're off in fasting. Okay, friends, I hope you learned a few things from me today. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn more from me, keep following me here. Hit the bell to get notified when I drop a new video and make sure to subscribe. Subscribing tells me and YouTube that my content is valuable to you. You can connect with me at emergencyhealthfix.com or find Emergency Health Fix on social media. Hey, thanks for tuning in today, friends. Stay healthy out there.